Hey everyone, it's Shannon, SM underscore Lex Loves, and I'm here to do a side-by-side -side kind of video comparison of the new Sperone BB in Damia Azure with Vachetta, and the Palm Springs Mini with the uh, black cowhide, I think, trimming. And yeah, I figured I'd do kind of a quick comparison video because earlier when I did my uh, unboxing reveal of this bag, I didn't go into too much depth about this, I just kind of just showed like a visual comparison. So I figured I would do a side-by-side -side for anyone debating if they should get one or the other or if they should add one or the other if they already own one. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have the measurements on little post-it notes. So for the Sperone BB, it's approximately, so I'm measuring it from corner to corner. See what those little corners are? Because it is, oops, kind of squishy, um, it does change. So corner to corner, it is approximately seven and a half inches at its widest meaning from here to here kind of like the widest I kind of get is around nine inches or so it is eight inches tall again tentatively because of the kind of like the way this bag is structured very squishy and it is approximately ooh, five so five and a half wide depending if that puffs up or is straight down so those are the measurements on this bag. And at the shortest setting on out of the seven adjustments, I get this to be about 43 inches long. So I guess that would give you like a 22 inch crossbody. So that's this bag. Now the measurements on my Palm Springs mini backpack is going to be eight inches tall, um, six inches wide, and about four and a half inches, including this little pocket here, okay? Without the pocket, I'm gonna say about four inches. Um, I'm counting the pocket because it does jut out. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into the differences of this bag. So I've only owned this bag for a day, and I can't do a review on it, but I wore it out earlier while I was running some errands, and um, I can kind of give you an idea of what I notice is different about these two bags. So first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and just start with the back because I think that is where most people are going to have questions. So as you can tell right away, the way that the straps adjust are very different. On this one, just like the original Sperone, it attaches at the center, whereas this one has two corner attachments. So that's, so what that does is, um, and I will go ahead and show you right now, is that um, what happens is when I cross body these bags, they both do lay flat on me. However, do you notice how this is already turning? This does turn. So um, I tend to notice that with a lot of the bags on LV where instead of having them on the same side when they're across from each other on the hooks they do tend to turn like your Alma BBs for example which I do own um, that I'm actually going to be letting go of soon so let me go ahead and just quickly show you what I mean so this bag when I lean forward it comes and you see how it turns it does turn so for some people that may get annoying but once it turns and I come back it does kind of sit kind of funky so you do have to adjust it a little bit, but for the most part, I wouldn't say it's as bad. See, whereas the Palm Springs still lays flat, it doesn't twist. So this one does twist, is what I noticed between both bags. And that, another kind of exterior thing here is this pocket is way more useful than this pocket. And I'll go ahead and show you. I'm sorry this video is everywhere. I just kind of want to just trace the bag from the outside going in, and I think that would be the most kind of normal way to do it. Oh yeah, let me show you quickly before I do that. So let me show you what these bags are crossbody. They're approximately adjusted to the same length now. Um, I pushed this down about two holes from what I originally had it at so that I could have it sit better crossbody for me because earlier it was up a little higher. So you see here, do you see how there's like a good, I'm gonna say inch and a half gap. And then right here, it just sits um, flush with the body. So that is also a thing. So for some people, this may get in the way. I honestly think all you have to do is adjust it so that it sits lower. But then when you wear it only on the shoulder, it's obviously going to be like down here instead of like at a cuter length. But again, um, this is mainly a crossbody bag for me, so I don't really care. So just so you can see what that looks like. And let me show you what it looks like from the side. Because of the way these attachments are, since that one is a central attachment, you're going to see that it kind of loops like this right there into the center. Whereas the Palm Springs Mini is gonna have some space in between. So aesthetically, I think the Palm Springs Mini is cuter 
than say the sperone in the way that it attaches. However, the sperone just kind of has a different aesthetic appeal. I originally had the Chanel backpack and I loved it because it was a vintage looking bag and I had to return it because I didn't like the caviar. So this is a more like modern, kind of contemporary, like student cute backpack. And to me, this is kind of that cute vintage feel that I always wanted, especially if you um, are familiar with the uh, Montsouri or the, um, what is it called? The Bosphor? Yeah. Sorry, I have, I like nicked myself earlier, so now I'm like hurting. That's why I'm a, trying to adjust my pants so it doesn't like hurt me there. I have uh, explained another day. It's no point in explaining. But yeah, other than that, another big difference that I also noticed with this bag is on structure. So between both bags, the Palm Springs Mini is much more structured than say the Sperone. And what I mean by that is that the Sperone isn't a reinforced bottom or, well, neither is the Palm Springs Mini. But what I mean is, do you see how like that one has the stitching there? So it kind of tend to maintain its kind of squariness, even though it's just as squishy. Whereas this one doesn't, it's just one piece of canvas. So I did notice when I was wearing it, it kind of did that kind of little sagging action there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a little like like bag organizer for this one. I'm just probably gonna go on Etsy and they have those little like cloth little bins that they put for like closet organizing. I probably might stick in here so it maintains the structure because I don't like when bags are saggy and too squishy. But you know, if you like that lived in feel, this will be just fine for you. So that's just one thing I do notice about this bag. Other than that, it does have sharp corners. So, see there? Uh, the corners aren't like the Palm Springs backpack, which as you can see, is a little bit more rounded, where I see how that one just comes to a point. Um, and so I may have to be a little careful with this one with maybe some corner wear. As of right now, I'm taking a look. No corner wear, so I think I should be okay. So there's the difference. Um, I don't know if I mentioned about the pocket just yet, but for me the big selling point is this pocket. And this pocket is actually um, Alcantara line, so that microfiber lining. And it is very, very um, useful. An iPhone 6 doesn't go all the way in. I have it on the charger, so I, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, it just sticks about a centimeter out, so you definitely could slip your phone there last minute if you really need to but I probably wouldn't because I am not going to um, break my phone. But your six key holder fits in there, your card case holds in there. The only thing is because this is that pink lining, you probably wanna be careful going in and out of the bag just cause you might ruin the lining. But in all reality, to me, it's just the lining. No one sees it. Better to use the bag than not use the bag for what we pay for it. Ooh. So let me go ahead and go ahead and show you this. Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm like treating this bag and it's like brand new. It's a Palm Springs Mini. However cute this little pocket is, it is absolutely useless. I don't even know what you shove in here, honestly. I put a key in here once, and it took me a good two minutes to like fuss around with it to get the key back out. Very irritating. So this pocket is basically useless, unless there was one time I put a, like a security card in there and I like put my bag up against the scanner. But even then, it's such a pain to get in and out of that pocket, even putting it in there but still pain because I have to get it back out. So this pocket is a mm, on the usefulness scale considering that I paid for it. So keep that in mind. But I do like that it's reinforced and it has a little bit of structure and it has kind of like the different attachment mechanism. Other than that, let's go on in. And it also has this little loopy hole here. I never put a bag term here because I think that's kind of weird, um, but it's kind of a cute touch. So let's go ahead and get into the bag. So the only difference for the opening is this has a zipper. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this zipper is, it's, a, it's annoying. <laughs> it is very annoying. So as you can see here, you see how like this sits flush so it covers up the zipper, which is beautiful aesthetically. However, functionally or functionality wise, not so much. Cause what happens is if you look here, this little piece of leather sits on top of that zipper. So when you're going in and out, you can't just freely like push it. It's, yeah, it doesn't work. So what I've adapted myself to doing with this bag is I would stick my finger right here and just kind of do that so I create a space to pull the zipper. The zipper does get tough. I do worry if I might break the zipper, but of course LV is fantastic. I'm sure they'll fix it for me. But this zipper, mm, annoying. 
So sometimes I don't even zip it all the way. Actually, what I do is I just I stick it in like that, like tuck it in, and I just leave it. And it's a pretty, you know, decent bag for me. So Paul's right me. Now for my new little spoon. <laughs> uh, of course, it has the faux buckle. And you just, so what I do, it's two pieces there. What I do is I don't grab this big piece because I don't want to bend that piece. You just bend it back. So what I do is I t put my finger right at the very bottom to reach the second one and just lift up and away. And that's how I would open this bag. So generally what I've done so far since I've used this bag, the tassels seem to naturally want to go one direction. I try to, oops, see I keep doing it. Do it where I like, I split them and close it because I think that's cuter, but it's probably not going to happen in my daily life as I jaunt about the universe. So that's going to be that. So I'll go ahead and open this up. So I guess <clears throat> I keep hitting everything and this is like a really nice coffee table. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you. The straps are very different. If I put them side by side, you're going to notice that the Vachetta strap compared to the black cowhide strap is much thicker than the black one, which is kind of nice because then it's a little bit more substantial. If I'm correct, this one is 1700 and I think the Palm Springs mini backpack, I think it's like around 1819. Um, I will double check and I will put the pricing down here somewhere as soon as I figure it out. But I did not pay that much for this bag. I actually bought this bag overseas, so I did pay a little bit less. Um, so price-wise, about the same. This one's a little bit cheaper, and it has, I think, a little bit more to offer, to be quite honest with you. So, yeah. And I'll show how it looks backpack-wise later. Um, I don't have the strap for this black one yet. I need to go get it out of its box. But I actually never wear these backpack styles. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. So open-wise, snap from the bottom, up and away. And then it reveals the inside lining, and I'm currently using it right now, so let me just... Take my empreinte clé clé out and my six key holder. This is my holy grail item because I love it to death. So inside is the Alcantara lining or the microfiber lining. It has one slip little pocket there and where is it? Wait, is it there? Oh, it's on the other side. And then one, whoops, one D-ring there. Okay. And that's about the bulk of the inside of this bag but still very pretty and very roomy. Now here is the Palm Springs mini backpack. As you can see on the inside it's like a black canvas, not canvas, a nylon. It too has a slip pocket with a little leather detail there. Um, I actually don't usually use this one and I actually, let me see. So this is the Empreinte Key Clay. It does fit in that pocket and iPhone 6 Plus will not fit in the Sperone pocket because it sits so high up, whereas I can possibly stick my phone in there. Okay, so because this pocket is so tight, I can't even get my key clay in there. And quite honestly, I don't know why you would even use that slip pocket back there, but if you do, that's cool. I personally don't. I don't want to stretch it out. But then that's basically it. It's just black nylon throughout on this lining one. Same thing. So that's kind of the difference between both bags. So I think this bag is going to be able to accommodate my iPad mini. So if you are an iPad mini user, you probably might like this, whereas a Palm Springs mini backpack, you cannot. So let me just kind of go ahead and give you like a quick pro, con, or I guess like a list of what I think you should think about if you're debating between these cute little lovelies. So of course, it'll naturally kind of open up like that. All you have to do, of course, is pull and adjust. This is shut up, so it will eventually loosen up with time. This may be kind of fussy for some people to get into because you have the snap and then you have the drawstring, but personally, don't really mind it. And it's a squishy bag. So, just aesthetically have them here for you. So I think if you are someone who lives in an area where it rains a lot, I'm from uh, Houston, Texas, so I understand that. You probably want to go with this cute little Palm Springs Mini. It has the black treated leather already, and honestly, this leather is a tank. I've had this bag for... Probably, I've had this bag for exactly a year. I bought this March of last year. I've had this bag for exactly a year and I used it straight every single day for six months. I put it through the rain, I put it through my move, I put it through my cross state move. Um, this bag is a tank. 
I have no corner wear. I have absolutely no issues. It's just that zipper is annoying. But again, I don't zip it. I just tuck it, call it a day. Um, other than that, so I think this bag is good for someone who lives in a hot, like rainy weather, or if you're constantly handling your things, if you have sweaty palms, maybe, um, definitely something to consider. And because this is nylon, you can wipe it up. I actually almost killed my significant other. He was tipsy and we were at a friend's birthday party and he spilled Red Bull into this baby and I was devastated. I was like, okay, you, I might kill you today. Um, but this, I took a little wet cloth, I wiped it all up and not an issue, honestly. So this bag, really, really awesome. Um, it can fit like a little baby water bottle in there if you wanna put it in there. So something to consider. Now, the Superone is gonna be a little bit more mm, meaty. Just because, of course, naturally, you're gonna be dealing with a good amount of Vachetta. This is more Vachetta than I'm used to. The only other Azure bag I have is a Neverfull MM. Other than that, you're also gonna be dealing with this lining. This lining is light pink and it's gorgeous, but again, it will become kind of, you know, it'll become worn or I guess dirty with time. You definitely won't be able to clean it. So if you have dirty hands, probably not this bag is for you. I assume that the edges up here are eventually gonna get dirty from just constant use, from, you know, exposure to dust, things like that. Um, I do also kind of feel like this bag doesn't maintain its structure, so if you don't like squishy things, and I usually don't, but this is just so cute, um, probably not going to be for you, but this is kind of nice. I think it, it will work with you. If you need to put your sweater in here, you definitely can because it'll expand. It'll look funny, but it'll definitely probably be able to fit your cardigan in here where it's this. I mean, it's going to be bulging out. It's going to look like that, whereas this is just going to look like a really kind of puffy little ball. So I think that also the way it is attached, if you think that twisty is going to bug the living crap out of you, because it will twist, um, probably not the bag for you. Whereas this one will not have this issue. Now, the one thing I do say between both these backpacks because of the way these straps are, worn backpack wise, I will go ahead and show you on my Sperone. I don't actually have this strap for my Palm Spring Mini out. I have it in the box, which is like up on a shelf and I don't want to get it. Um, I think these backpacks sit quite low on the back. They sit like right over my bim, which I'm not the biggest fan of, just because aesthetically that is just not my prerogative. Um, I don't like bags that sit too low on the back. Just because I already hate that it's already on my back. I don't want it like lingering over my bum. But it is cute. Um, personally, so this is how far it sits down. Very long. If it were up to me, I would actually like it at this type of length. So originally, and this is the length that I would like it at. I cannot adjust it to make it that short. Because if you look, the adjustments are down here. And I need it to be adjusted like somewhere like up here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Etsy. I'm a big Etsy person. And I'm going to get shorter Vachetta straps so that I can possibly wear this as a backpack because I kind of do like it on the back if it was this short. Um, I think aesthetically it would be really, really cute for the summertime when I have cute little dresses. But yeah, other than that, that's just kind of like my observation so far on the back. So it's kind of, I guess, like an overview, quickie, whatever. I don't know what you want to call this, but definitely those are kind of like my differences in the back. To me, quite honestly, I think for the money, the Sperone is probably a better deal because it is just a teensy bit cheaper, if I'm correct. 1700 I think this is, I think this is hitting almost 1900 I think it's like 1860 or something like that, or 1790 maybe, because I know the reverse one is like 1890 or something. So I think this is the better buy. However, if you are picky with a good amount of Vachetta, this is going to drive you out of your mind. Um, also, crossbody wise, I am probably going to get questions about, don't you worry about um, color transfer? All Damien Zer is probably going to have a color transfer issue. That's just something I have to get over. Honestly, I only use my Damien Zer once in a while. Um, most of the time I use, like, obviously, like, a, a leather bag or a Damien Bean or a monogram bag. But I think the Damien Zer, there's just something about it that it's so cute. I love the checkered pattern. 
I think that white and that bluish gray is absolutely adorable. And of course, you know, you guys, I love blue and I love gray and I love everything. So that's just something to keep in mind aesthetically. That's kind of like what I lean for. Blues, purples, grays. Um, so yeah, I don't think I have to worry too much. The jeans I wear aren't like the jeans that are super dyed. They're actually cheat jeans. They're jeggings, so jean leggings. So I don't think I need to worry too much about dye. Other than that, if anything, I'll probably most likely be pairing this with um, dresses, skirts, white jeans, things like that. And I am planning on getting a shorter backpack strap. So maybe I might be carrying this more as a backpack than this one. You know what I mean? Or, you know, I like it personally crossbody too. I think both bags are very versatile and they're both very different. This offers a very modern look. This offers a very vintage kind of hippie, like fun look. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a vintage backpack and I'm so glad that the Chanel ones didn't work out. I'm really glad that I ended up not getting the Boss for because it was sold out. And now I have this little baby. So very happy. Um, I'm actually going to be letting go of my Alma baby because I'm on bag band and I can't have another bag if I have this bag. So the Alma baby will be going and I originally had that bag. It's kind of like a dressy casual bag, but I have literally not worn it in a long, long time. Um, I think now that I have my Chanel's and I have this little backpack and I have my Eva, which is probably my most favorite bag out of my whole collection, I'm gonna, I'm ready to let go of my Alma. So yeah, this is my overview of both these bags. Um, so these adjustments. This is probably gonna be annoying for some people, honestly, because you have two types of like ways to open and close it. But I think it's gonna be very cute. Other than that, this is a 20 minute video. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I'm so chatty Kathy. But I hope this answered some questions for you. If you do have any questions for me whatsoever, please let me know. Um, I'm usually on Instagram more than I'm on YouTube just because it's just easier for me to check. But um, I do and I will get to your comments and questions when I do. Other than that, it was a pleasure showing you my bag. I hope I answered some questions for you. I hope I either deterred you away from this bag or enabled you because why am I here? Um, and yeah, um, sorry I have no makeup and all that jazz and I'm just, I'm too lazy. I will do that next time. Anyways, it was a pleasure guys. I will see you all next time. Follow me on Instagram. Bye.